The muzzle of a hose has a cross section of 5 cm square and water emerges at 20 uh, meter per second at the velocity of 20 meter per second. We need to find the force exerted by water on the wall. So the force exerted by the water on the wall will be the uh, change of momentum per second by of the water. So the change of momentum will be mass of the of the water times velocity will be the momentum and once it hits the water its momentum is this one and once it hits the wall the momentum is the uh, mv but afterwards it moment its momentum becomes zero so that will be the change of momentum per second if we do that so that will be our force now water emerges at 20 meter per second so in order to find find the mass of the water we can find mass will be volume times density so q is the volume and volume will be cross sectional area times 20 meter per second so it 20 meter is the dimension here and because this is the cross section and this one is the per second this is the volume uh, volume of the water basically heating the wall so if we can find that we will be able to find the force per uh, change of momentum per second momentum per second basically and then since the momentum after heating the wall becomes zero so the difference will be the change of momentum so this one is the volume of the water times the density now this one here I will just write density here so area will be 5 but I want to convert it into meters uh, 5 centimeters square so I want to convert it into meter square so divided by 100 times 100 then we have 20 then density water density we know that 1 gram per cc but if I want to convert into kilogram per meter cube that will be kilogram so it will be divided by 1000 and in order to convert in meter cube we have to multiply by 100 times 100 meter cube so 300 basically so this will, will be our mass so this one this one one two three four one one two three four here and then one two three one two three so what's remaining is 10 so that's 10 kg is the mass of the water so change of this is mass of water and the change of momentum will be 10 kg times velocity and that this is happening per second so that will be our force so that will be 20 is the velocity so if we do mv that will be 10 times 20 and then minus 0 of course and this is happening per second that's why it's force so that's we are calculating per second anyway so that's 200 Newton so that's the force basically because if we remember from impulse formula that's F times T is equal to change of momentum so that's what we are doing since so F will be change of momentum per second so that's what we have calculated on the right hand side change of momentum per second so that's what the for that's what the value of the force we get 200 newton